Hello friends, this is Nageshwar and welcome to my channel ITBot143. In my previous tutorial, I have shown how to install Windows Server 2008 on my virtual box. Now, in this tutorial, I will show how to configure Server 2008. When we start up our Server 2008, we will be provided by an important window from Microsoft known as Initial Configuration Task for configuring Server 2008. Normally, in many of the companies or enterprises environment, many of these changes or all of these changes are going to be preset. But here, I made a simple fresh installer. So, I got this window to configure my server 2008. Okay, let's uh, start the configuration process. Here, it is showing activate windows. If you have the product key, you can activate your windows from here okay but i don't have the product key so i'm skipping my windows activation and after that please come to set time zone just select this one and now date and time window came and first come to change time zone and here please select your time zone okay i'm from india so I'm choosing Chennai, Kolkata, Mumbai, New Delhi. Okay, after that, just click on OK. And after that, come to change date and time. And please uh, modify your date and time. Okay, it is 20th Feb. H, okay, date and time is correct. Okay, after that, just click on OK. Otherwise, you can modify your date and times. Okay, February 20th. Okay. And after that, please come to additional clocks and just if you want to select this, uh, show this clock. So additional clocks can display the time in other time zones and you can view them by clicking on or hovering over the taskbar clock. Now, okay. And just here, please come to the internet time. Here we need to uh, synchronize our time with the internet. Okay. So come to change settings okay now you can synchronize your time settings with the internet time server okay just click here you will find different servers uh, but i'm choosing timewindows.com okay and after choosing your uh, server just click on update now and after that come to okay and just click on okay Okay, now setting time zone is completed. Then after that, please come to configure networking. Here it is showing my uh, local area network. Okay, just open this and come to properties. And here it is showing my IP, IPv6 and IPv4. Okay, here I'm deselecting this IPv4 because we are dealing with IPv4 so just select that one and come to properties so it is uh, showing uh, obtain an IP address automatically because uh, actually my computer is connected with the DHCP server so that's why I kept this if you want to uh, use your static IP no problem you just click on here and enter your static IP okay but I'm keeping this only and after that just click on ok and close this ok so now network connection is uh, configured ok it is assigned by DHCP it is showing that only and come to provide computer name and domain and here you can uh, create name for your computer now it is defaultly uh, showing when some some name it is showing during uh, I have said this uh, during my installation process now if you want to change this please click on change and you can type here okay I will keep this as server okay and here it is showing domain name and work group if you have the domain name you can just enter this and type your domain name okay but here I will run this as work group okay 
and after that just click on OK. Now it is asking for restarting your computer to apply these changes. OK, we have to restart our system. OK, no problem. Let's restart the system and after that I will show few more settings. And OK, I am restarting now. And welcome back. After the restart, uh, restart my server again. I came into this window. Now, just come to again provide computer name and domain. And here, just select hardware, and directly you will go to the device manager. Okay. Uh, to go into the device manager directly uh, you can select from here also and advanced settings is there you can change the performance visual effects process scheduling and the memory usage and you can set all these things and a desktop settings related to your logon you can modify this and system start of system failure and debugging debugging information everything can be seated in advanced option okay and just um closing this and after that now it is showing your full computer name as server and it is showing workgroup as workgroup okay and after that please come to this update the server okay just click on enable automatic update and here it is showing updates is not configured and so just click on here now it is showing one window so you can enable windows automatic updating or feedback or you can manually configure these settings okay but here uh, in this tutorial i don't want to uh, select these updates okay just i'm closing this if you want you can select uh, either of these options or directly it can enable windows automatic updating or you can manually configure settings okay so just uh, select this and it will open your uh, manual configuration window there you can change your settings okay just click on change setting and it will uh, show the information so but here i don't want to do this uh, okay you can modify your uh, manually also okay close this and also it is showing download and install updates so you can download your updates from this option and after that now it is showing as add roles uh, just click on here so it is showing add roles wizard and you can add roles from this window uh, there are so many options is there and you can select all these things uh, but uh, it it takes a lot of time so in this tutorial I don't want to touch this okay just I'm um, canceling that okay after that add features and here also so much information is there and you can provide dotnet framework and you can change your background intelligent and uh, like this so many options are there okay and after that please come to enable remote desktop and here now it is showing remote desktop connection and please uh, choose this only don't allow connection to this computer uh, because it is a server and uh, uh, maybe some users can modify your server settings so that's why it is not preferable to select this remote assistance okay so I'm choosing don't allow connection to this computer okay and now it is showing allow con connection from computers running any version of remote desktop and it is giving warning it is less secure and also, it is showing ILO connections only from computers running remote desktop with network level authentication. He is highly uh, more secure one, uh, but it is better to uh, select this only. Don't allow connection to this computer. Okay, and after that, just click on okay. 
right remote desktop is disabled and you can configure your windows firewall now it will open our windows firewall and you can turn off your firewalls uh, here you can turn turn off windows firewall but it is not recommended one uh, always you keep a windows firewall turn on only uh, this is for home network and in public network also please turn on this windows firewalls and after that just click on ok yeah for it, close it and here one option is sh showing uh, do not show this window at logon but please don't take uh, select this box because uh, this is uh, this is a great tool uh, to configure our server 2008 otherwise if you select this uh, it will not show again during the startup process again if you want to modify that you can go to control panel there you can select all these options and there on then only you can modify these settings so uh, that will very time taking process so just uh, don't select this box and simply close this now after this uh, we came into the server manager here lot of options there and again just come to roles uh, here you, know, you can add roles same uh, you can modify from here also server manager and come to features again uh, add features and come to diagnostics okay and come to diagnostics uh, diagnostics okay here it is showing even fewer performance and again it is showing device manager okay just click here and select this device manager now it will show our components in device manager batteries computer disk drives everything it will show okay and after that please come to configuration and again it is showing the task scheduler and windows firewall and same options it will repeat from your server manager also and after that please come to storage now it is showing disk management and also windows server backup you can back up your server from this option and come to disk management now it is showing your hard disk uh, space and now it is okay uh, from this you can change your uh, partition sizes okay but here i don't want to do this and after this uh, configuration just come to start and just open your command prompt to check whether it is all the components are uh, configured exactly or not just open this and type ip config okay let's check it okay now it is showing ethernet adapter local area connection okay my ip4 address is there subnet mass is there and uh, router address everything uh, we configured and after that try to ping your zero and sorry okay let's try that and we are able to connect to our uh, router also okay and with this everything uh, successfully installed in server 2008 and after this uh, so many options and uh, very important one is administrator tools and here it is showing a uh, number of uh, options so uh, we can use this in the later video okay and thank you viewers uh, i think in this tutorial I have configured my server 2008 uh, perfectly and if you like this video please click on like button and please share it with your friends and please visit my channel uh, ITBird 143 because I am preparing lot of videos on uh, server 2008 uh, please and please don't forget to uh, subscribe my channel ITBird 143 and thank you friends have a nice day